Brander here back live again from the U.S. Open. You've been with us all day long, live from the player practices. We saw Venus Williams, Rafael Nadal, Roger Federer, but now we're here with a superstar from a different sport. It's WNBA guard Lexi Brown. Lexi, thanks for coming out to the Open today. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. This is your first time at the Open? Your first it time? is. It is. And I've been watching the U.S. Open since I've been younger. I actually played tennis a little bit when I was younger, so to be here is, you know, kind of a dream come true. What kind of inspiration do you take from some of the iconic tennis players we've seen over the course today? I know we were talking about the Williams sisters earlier. You're a big fan of them. Oh, yeah. I love Venus and Serena. I remember watching them um, play each other. I think it might have been Wimbledon. Um, I'm not sure. They played each other so many times, but um, things that they've done for women, uh, specifically women of color in sports, has been incredible. Um, you know, they've been my superstar since I've been younger. Um, and now to watch, you know, a superstar like Sloane Stevens, you know, come up the ranks has been awesome. Watching her win this tournament last season was really cool to see. Um, you know, they're just so inspiring. You know, the, the, they put in so much work, and a lot of it is by themselves. You know, it's it's a it, they just they've raised the bar for all female athletes all over the world. Now, you come from a basketball family. Your dad, D. Brown, former slam dunk champion, longtime NBA player. What is it like growing up in a sports family like that? Obviously, the Williams sisters growing up in a tennis family, right. both of them reaching the top ranks. We have the Zvera brothers in this year's U.S. Open, another pair of siblings, both in the main draw. What's that like growing up in that familial atmosphere around the sport? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, in sports, you have to surround yourself with people that care about you, um, want to support you, and want to see you do as well as possible. Um, and to keep that, to be able to keep that as close knit as possible is awesome. Um, my family is the best support system I could ever ask for. Um, for my parents, my siblings, cousins, aunts, grandparents, you know, you name it, I have it. Um, they've just been really amazing. Um, and if we grow up in a family that we all love the same thing, um, it's brought us closer as a family as well. We are able to spend a lot of time together, a lot more time than people are uh, probably used to spending with their families. Um, but, you know, I, I'm so blessed to have them in my life. Now, today is the last day of the qualifying tournament, so all the folks that win their last round match today qualify for the main draw of the U.S. Open. For a lot of them, this is their first time in the main draw of a Grand Slam. What was it like for you after being the ninth pick in the WNBA draft, similar to them stepping on court at the U.S. Open for the first time, stepping on a court as a WNBA player for the first time? Yeah, I mean, nerves. I mean, that was the biggest thing. I remember my first day of training camp. You know, I, I think I almost peed my pants um, to be playing against players that I've been watching on TV, um, growing up watching, you know, it was kind of surreal. Um, but this season was definitely a learning experience. You know, I was kind of thrown into the fire. That's just kind of the nature of the WNBA. You go straight from college right to the pros in a probably span of a month. Um, so it was definitely tough. It was a hard transition, but, you know, my teammates, my coaches made it a, a really smooth uh, summer for me. Um, you know, I'm really happy to be here. So blessed. Now, what was the college basketball experience like for you? So many tennis players go straight from juniors to the pro ranks. Very few play collegiately. How much personal and, and game development did you find for yourself over the course of your four years? Yeah, college? Uh, college was, you know, the best. Five, I, I did five years of college, five years of my life. Um, I got to spend it at two universities, Maryland and Duke. Uh, you know, the things that I learned at both universities has been, you know, an intricate part of, you know, my growth as a player and a person. Um, it's so important, especially as a female, to take advantage of those years in college. Um, you know, I got to finish up at Duke with two degrees, um, an undergrad and a master's from, you know, Cuba School of Business. So, you know, there's so many blessings, uh, you know, of being able to attend, you know, prestigious universities, playing the sport that you love. Now, why was it so important for you to go back, get your master's degree? We were just talking earlier about you're building a brand for yourself as well. Why are all of these things off the court so important for you? And, and how are you using those to inspire and talk to and communicate with, form relationships with your yeah. fans at home? I feel like in this world today, um, you know, everything is so competitive and, you know, everyone is so brilliant and intelligent in their own right. Um, I think it's important to get as many tools as you can. Um, and I think getting degrees is, you know, just another tool I want to add to my toolkit. Um, the people that I've met, the relationships I've built um, at both universities I was at have, you know, changed my life completely. And, you know, the ball's going to stop bouncing one day. I mean, God forbid, you know, something happens, an injury, an illness, you know, um, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. But at the end of the day, you have to have a plan B. Um, and I think that um, planning for that as early as you can is super important. Um, again, I mentioned being a female again. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of odds stacked against us, especially in, you know, professional sports and, you know, and even in the corporate world. 
um, you know, just be able to get as many tools as possible to break those barriers down is super important. Here with WNBA superstar Lexi Brown. Send us your comments, U.S. Open social media. Lexi, we've seen some fierce competition throughout the qualifying week. What's the competition like on the floor in the NBA? Are a lot of people talking? Is there, I mean, what's it like? Um, it's ridiculous. I mean, I grew up, you know, growing up, you're playing against, you know, teenagers, you know, college, you're playing against maybe young adults, but like, in the WNBA, you're like playing against grown women, like, so, you know, the trash talk is on another level, the physicality is on another level, um, but it's been really fun, you know, this season, you know, I got to do a lot of uh, sitting back, watching, learning, um, you know, kind of see how people operate in the WNBA, it's been super fun to watch and experience, um, I think the best trash talker that I've experienced this year has been Diana Taurasi. And I love her game. I've been a fan of her since I was little. To be able to step on the same floor as her this season has been unreal and kind of a dream come true. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a difference. It's been a big change, but you know I'm, I'm ready to adapt. Maybe start trash talking a little bit myself. You know, we just took a walk across the famed Arthur Ashe Stadium on the court where, as you said, Serena has won so many Grand Slam titles. Roger Federer has won five U.S. Opens from right there on center court. What did that mean to you to walk out of the tunnel, see Arthur Ashe Stadium before you, and, and get to stand where some of those all-time greats yeah, stood? it was awesome. I mean, standing there, I felt like I just absorbed some of their greatness. You know, that's exactly what I need. I'm heading off to, you know, play overseas next week. Um, I need some of that greatness. I need some of that confidence bad. Um, but, you know, just walking out there, I mean, just looking back, you know, reflecting on you know, how much work I put in, you know, the work they put in is probably times 100. They're much older, much more experienced, have way more achievements than I do. I mean, I just wish I could be, you know, half of the, the athlete Serena has been in her career and all the other players that have been able to uh, walk across that uh, stadium. WNBA superstar Lexi Brown, if you were to see Venus or Serena here at the Open, what is one question that you would want to ask them? Um, probably just ask them how they deal with the negativity that comes their way. Um, you know, there's a lot. And, you know, it's kind of died down a little bit. Um, but I feel like now with social media and the Internet, you know, it's just been, you know, blasted in their face. Um, I think that Serena and Venus, you know, handle it. I mean, Serena specifically more recently with the utmost class. And, you know, that's such a thing to respect about her, you know, the way she just handles everything, you know, like, like a woman. Like nothing, you know, phases her. And she never, you know, claps back. You know, she's never in any scandals, nothing like that. You know, I just want to know how she's able to, you know, carry herself so effortlessly throughout all this. And similar to that point, one of the major uh, focal points of the U.S. Open this year and all of our coverage is the She Is movement empowering female athletes. Why is it important for female athletes to support each other? I just think that there's nothing more powerful in this world than a, a female supporting another female and you know and it, you, people can take that for what, whatever they want but I think women are the most powerful people on this earth um, I think we make the world go round um, but I think that now more than ever is the time for women to need to come together you know sports business being a wife house whatever anything that you do I feel like it's so important for all women to support each other in whatever they're doing um, I think this the climate of our world right now just needs that really badly you know. one of the things we've been talking about is the statement the future is female what is the statement the future is female mean to you i think that it's just we're getting stronger we're getting smarter um i feel like we're, we're taking control of our futures and the future is female and i think that um we're all realizing it you know like i said before nothing is more powerful than a woman supporting another woman um i think it's super important moving forward i think the WNBA particularly did a great job you know pushing that um, narrative this entire season it was really cool seeing all of the you know me um, you know surrounds you no matter